Alrighty, and welcome. We have the ITS Nation Cup Final to present you. It is Team Canada versus Team China, and I am joined by two commentators this time. Uh, we got Derek, also known as D-Rock, and Max, also known as Max Goldman12. Um, Max, how you doing? Good, how are you doing, Craig? Hi, Derek. Oh, not doing too bad. Excited for this matchup. And uh, Derek, uh, what are your thoughts so far on this matchup? Well, it's going to be fun. I mean, these are two of the uh, the best teams in the world and some of the best players in the world. Really great to watch them play. Oh, for sure. It's been uh, a couple couple months now. We had a group qualifying stage. Uh, both Canada and China went 3-0 in their groups. And then uh, now they meet here in the finals. Um, stiff competition. Team Poland was really strong. Team USA was really strong. Um, but I would say Team Canada and Team China, not really surprised to see them in the finals here. No, definitely not. The Canadian hive mind has only lost one game so far, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, and they're not shy about announcing it. <laughs> <laughs> no, they are not. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and introduce the players from each side. Uh, Max, if you want to go, go ahead with Team Canada, who's playing? Yeah, so for Canada, we have David Lee, Felix Lapin and uh, Mathieu Latendresse. And then for Team China, we have uh, Peter Chow, Chen Grui Ha, and Min Tao. Hopefully I got those pronunciations right. I practiced for 15 minutes before the show. <laughs> I know we used to say Min Cow for the longest time. Yeah. Well, Patrick will let you know if I got anything wrong. And then uh, let me pull up the video here, and then we'll get started. So just from the <coughs> Canadian side here, not a hand you want to be purged with. And Middle East and Nasser is nice. Not you know you're picking up 4VP <laughs> right away. So they can't see the hand, but... Oh. Give me one second. Boom. There we go. And we're started. Go ahead, Max. Uh, so yeah, so definitely not a hand you want to be purged with for the Canadians, but you know you're snagging 4VP quick off Middle East, which is always a nice thing. It's a manageable hand if you don't get Purge. Like, Purge would be unbelievably awful with this. But, um, yeah, I do. Yeah. Yeah, four, four, two. Two. yeah, it's pretty bad because the blockade and decal and two scoring cards. I mean, you don't lose that many ops to Purge, but the problem is the card's in your hand. Yeah, then you're suddenly stuck with giving up West Germany or decal. Yeah, I think you would have seen a... a I thought maybe you might see a, an empty West Germany just in case they do get purged, but I'm not at least like one West, West Germany. Germany. There's so many other like better headlines for the USSR mm -hmm. between like Vietnam, if they're holding defectors, like Arab Israeli, maybe going for the like Middle East empty. I don't know. I, I feel like there's a lot more than just purge, so. Yeah, and it's nice to be, they got Middle East, so they can dump that for 4VP because they got Nasser in hand. See, I, I feel if you, if you set up with either an empty or one in West Germany, that really tips off that, like, you have a trouble hand. Ooh, Vietnam yeah. is bad. Yeah. You know for sure that your opponent has blockade if they definitely open one or zero in West Germany. Right, and that right. you're just screaming, I'm going to have issues for the whole turn. So it's a lot of information, especially when you're playing against like top quality players. Mm -hmm. So how do you respond to the Vietnam now? I consider um, cooing it and hope for that one in six to just empty it. Yeah, because you definitely want to empty it because if you get it, I mean, influence back in there, they got Vietnam revolts, they got the bonus, they're just going to coo it back. Yeah. Uh, you don't really have the ops to beat it, like uh, country count wise. You might be able to sneak away um, by doing Pakistan yeah. and like Malaysia or Philippines or something. My only Wait. issue with the two, if you're going to do two pack, I feel like you have to do two South Korea also and just go for the full block. Yeah, that's true. Because mm -hmm. obviously they can just take Thailand if you just take Pakistan.
And re I, I mean, here you, you could give up Suez if you like for to basically move into Lebanon mm -hmm. and then use the two free ops, basically take offs out of the UK to do PAC. I, I think you stay have to stay in the Western half of the Middle East, though. Yeah, this is I feel like, really tricky. I, yeah. I, yeah. Especially I if you give up US Japan quickly, then you're stuck with basically no ops in your hand. Mm -hmm. I mean, I like the two South Korea two pack. Yeah. I mean, I think that's probably your best shot. Like a coup. Again, as Craig said earlier, you're you're really hoping for to just empty it out, but got a small chance of doing that. So I feel like the Chinese players are more so hesitant to coup the two steps. So I think I feel like if you went two pack to South Korea, it would just take Thailand, and then you could get Asia off for free. Yeah, maybe even event Korean War if they had it. I like this. The pressure on Thailand. I'll fill Thailand, and then you have to counter with South Korea or India. Mm -hmm. That's not that bad. Yes, I mean, I think it's worth the risk. I mean, sure, you remove your access to the western part of the Middle East, but... You just don't want to get wiped out there. Yeah. At some point, maybe with one of these one-ops, you can throw one point into Iraq or something just so that you don't get wiped out of the Middle East completely. Yeah, I think a problem here, though, is if uh, Chinese players have a four-op, you might just be putting four or two into Thailand and two into... Well, all right, there goes that. And up into Lao. Oh, no, just overprotect. I mean, at the same time, the fact that the China and China decide to headline middle headline Europe probably says a lot about some cards that they don't have although i guess it's interesting that they went to europe and then vietnam opposed to vietnam take thailand mm -hmm. i feel like that's not I mean, something think, you see all the time it, i think it just says they had no ways of getting into europe obviously they didn't have decal they didn't have yeah. socialist um they don't yeah, have the so was already in the u.s hand they would have had to have de gaulle or something yeah. Uh, so yeah, Middle East and Europe has already scored. So definitely Asia is going to be the hot battleground or the region. I feel like the coup's not even that great if you get it uh, and they miss. Uh. But, so even if they get it, guess their hope is that they either are going to coup back or if they just take one into Lao, you can get it off at an even country count. Yeah. Definitely need to work on mill ops though. I mean, DEFCON may stay high, so you don't really have that many cards in your hand to get mill ops to begin with. You probably want to resolve Nasser and coup Egypt with it. Yeah, and go for that five or six hope. Which I don't like, but I guess you don't really have an option in this. With in this case, like you're never going to get Egypt first anyway. No, not with your bad hand that you had. Basically, just yeah. Re realistically, your only goal here is to stop an Asia domination. And and there it goes. I yeah. Don't see them having a path now. I was going to say uh, the only way to do it would be to take Korea. Yeah, I don't. And I don't think is... you'll be able to get it unless you really fight for country count and like unload U.S. Japan into all the small ones. But even then, I think you just have to score now. I think you space first. If you're going to score and then they give the Chinese players an opportunity to get the two VP, it's. The, the swing is more than the South Korea take. Yeah, I think spacing yeah, first is better. Just one VP. Yeah, you're right. Uh, 
but because they may not that, even fill up South Korea on their next turn. Yeah, I mean, I'm a big proponent as a U.S. player to just take South Korea and gamble the war. Either you're going to put two ops in, and you're going to risk a two op war, or you're going to lose South Korea. Mm -hmm. So the whole thing where, like, as USSR players, we all just kind of slowly drip an op or two into South Korea. I, I think like the Chinese mentality of just take South Korea and no fear on the war is the right one. Is it's that or you're going to lose it no matter what. Oh, wow, man, they only take Korea. I would say you just give up Asia here, right? Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I mean, I, you're not the China, gonna, the China you're... logic there was they wanted to fight on country count for sure. So they ended up taking all yep. those versus taking South Korea. And just I th use the extra one off bonus. Yeah. It's not getting any better, so. No, it's I mean, I... not. Yeah. What are they going to coup with? Thailand. Thailand. Uh... Yeah, you know, so six could make it interesting. You... Yeah, five might get you the China card. The problem is they're just going to. Maybe realign you if you just, roll six anyway. Yeah, I was gonna say the same thing. Like, that's a nasty realign. Ooh, I don't know if I like this. Ooh, now I really don't like it. Yeah, the thing is, I I think that's better that they emptied it because that's true. they do have to fill it back up. Team China still doesn't have mill ops, so maybe. I mean, they're going to fill it, though. They got to fill it. But Yeah. I just don't think there's anything that's annoying enough that you could do on the board with only Nasser. Yeah, that's the problem. Yeah. Mm -hmm. like if you didn't have... If you had more ops or more free cards, you could just kind of keep poking Korea or something. I kind of like the Nasser coup now at a two. Or yeah. you could leave it up so that you get mill offs next turn, though. Which is also a good option, I think. Yeah, it looks like that's what they're going to do. Yeah, I guess India protects against IP war. I mean, you still want to probably get one in France, at least. I feel like the one in France is doesn't make sense. That's because true. I mean, you still have the call out, so it wouldn't matter. Mm -hmm. And yeah, decal so is goal, already gone. It's gone anyway. So it's not like it. Yeah, I, I, I don't like one in France. I think if you're going to be able to, if you're going to move into France right now, you need to have got like at least three ops in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe get in because, Iraq. Yeah, I think Iraq's pretty important. I mean, India definitely. It's just that extra up. Uh, to put that. Not a fan of Angola, though. But I, I don't mind the Angola because it's DEFCON is going back to four. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I think being able to... Because, like, cooing Egypt gets you Libya. But it's also not that great. So just a back-to-back -back coup, they go to Angola, you counter. It's not that bad. The big fear is if they coup, like, Pakistan and just kind of wipe you out or get one in. You mm -hmm. counter coup or you give up pack in India. So, yeah, if you're gonna do that, I think it's one one. Yeah, I think I That's like this bad. best. Yeah. All right, they, they get do... the war. They get defectors. They get destall. So they grab both access cards, which is nice to keep that away from the USSR. Did now they have, have they didn't play. have RSP? No. Yeah, probably lead defectors and it's usually expected if it's not seen on turn one to get headlined against you if you don't have it as a USSR player, but China usually has the no fear policy, so they just play I right would, into it. I'd also consider headlining Truman, the counter to goal headline. That is true, yeah. Holding defectors. Although, if defector you, counters it too. 
Yeah, but I mean, it's an extra <laughs> op down the line. Mm. But there we purge go. it is. Nothing like being able to defect purge. Yeah, that's always a good feeling. Makes you warm and fuzzy inside. Oh, yeah. That's a great op trade any day of the week. So when you're, so you when you're running into this situation here as a USA player, do you ever consider, I mean, we haven't seen CIA yet, do you consider holding five-year plan and hope to redraw duck and cover? Or are you mostly, that's slam, the chances are too small that you don't even really consider it? Well, I think since you have D-style in hand, you want to hold D-style. Uh, keep that out of the reshuffle. Yeah. Yeah. So the only question is, do you want to event Romanian or Fidel ASAP? And both are reasonable. Honestly, I would coup Lao with Romanian, maybe. Get it out before Independent comes out. Mm -hmm. And cut off access. Yeah. There. Strong there it is. Considering it, and there it goes. I like that move. And now I think you want to event Fidel ASAP to trigger CIA. Yeah, they could dump CIA, like if they have it here, because what are you going to coup Libya or Egypt? Place an op, I guess. But either way, it gets it out yeah. of your hand. It gets it out of your hand, but it gives up the information at the same time pretty early in the turn. If you have a very strong hand, maybe you consider it. Oh, well, there you go. So they have De Gaulle, EEU, Olympic, NATO, and AI. So you need to get at least four ops into France this turn. Yeah. So you probably just fix a run here and then uh, coup with a different card. I think so. Actually, yeah. Or maybe I, coup I and then, because you already got one, so you're going to gain a mill up unless you give them or they event I, Arab is really. And then you have more ops to place instead of cooing. Yeah, I like that because you could do like an Angola, Iran, France with Duck. Ooh, oh, big clear cle there. Clears him out. I think you gotta fix. Oh, uh, I think you take. You um, have to fix a rand first. Yeah. You know, interesting. They picked Libya over Egypt. I would have picked Egypt because it's nice to get if you get one op in there. Then you can have Sadat evented to take it. And then you also block off. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter too much anyway. They yeah, there we have access to it. And so now you have to spend three ops taking a battleground in the Middle East, which is not what you want to do when you just saw De Gaulle. So I don't know if I agree with the valuing space over Iran there, but that's just me. Because mm -hmm. now you have to do five-year plan into France, IP war into Pakistan, perhaps, and then Truman to add one more to France, I think. They're walking to Algeria. Yeah, now you're kind of stuck in this awkward position where you coup or just take France. You already got mill ops anyway, so... No, yeah, you don't coup that. You have you have more important things. Yeah. See, like you know, De Gaulle is going to be their whole card. You can't uh, you can't give up France like this. So you need to get at least four, if not five, in. And the problem with that is it doesn't even give you domination. You're just protecting the battlegrounds against the eventual De Gaulle headline. Yeah. So maybe hope for a redraw of defectors would be nice. And Marshall's Marshall. still out there, so that would be helpful. 
Oh, they oh, give, they're giving up the Gaul to take Algeria. Okay, so then, yeah, just take Green France. So then you only really need to do one more, I think, right? Yeah, I thought they would just use Arab Israeli there and take Algeria. They're going to have it. Get the extra VP off Milovs. Also, Pakistan has is not protected from the China card. That's a good yeah. point. I don't like... One Pakistan, one two UK Pakistan. or something? I think you need at least one France to protect from socialists in Suez. One Pak what? and one Pakistan. Well, Suez is out, but Socialist could be a redraw. Well, I mean, De Gaulle could oh, be yeah, a redraw as well. True, Suez is out. So one more in France protects from Socialist on the redraw. Uh, I think you protect from the China flip, right? Like having three battlegrounds in Asia, like it's very close to evening it. Yeah, I, I agree. Yeah. I, Like you don't want to give up Asia long term like that. Mm, yeah, I I think Pakistan is way better than South America or yeah, South I'm Africa. There, putting, putting one in South Africa. I don't Oof. see what that gets you. What a hand! There are a few nice cards in this hand. Yeah, they get the yeah. remaining four off cards. Very nice. Well, I guess Purge was a redraw. So, do you Purge or do you Marshall? Uh, you drew Socialist, so you really have to worry about the Gaul. Suez is gone, so I think Purge is better. I Purge? Yeah, Pur Purge yeah. helps you all over the board. Marshall really just helps you in Europe. Um, and both cards would protect you from a France flip, so I, I say you go with Purge. Definitely a bit of discussion, though. I mean, based on what we know is in China's hand, like they have Formosan, Independent Reds, Cambridge. Uh, they nope. don't have a lot of odds, so... Cambridge. It's Formosan, Indy. Oh, I'm not... I'm not doing great on remembering. I think we saw NORAD, right? UN? Yeah, you, uh, UN was used on NORAD. Okay, Truman was a redraw. So like you the only known cards in their hand are EU, Cambridge, Independent Reds, and Formosan. Yeah. So you start moving into so the southern part of Africa because you could walk pretty far here. Yeah, for sure. They redrew a decal. Yeah, so either way, you want to walk as far as you can. So you, honestly, like that with either taking India or poking Algeria so that you could walk into Saharan if you wanted to. Yeah, I like poking to walk into Saharan states. You don't have to do it immediately, but at some point in this turn. Yeah, you got time. The hand seems pretty straightforward. I think you hold Distal for another turn, though. Are uh, you right, like you... space socialist here or not space? Yeah. No, I think you space socialist, but I don't think with how the Americas are right now, you want to risk like a early salt D stall. Yeah, that's true. You just take Mexico. That's it. Oh, they get Asia oh. off before you can move into Japan. That's and the redraw. Bad. That's super too bad. So I agree with the space here. If they had decal, I think they decal before they square Asia. Yeah. Yeah, they I definitely think you have time. 
Looks like they're looking at space track for a double space or they're considering one small step getting played against them. But I mean, honestly, it shouldn't matter. You shouldn't put that much thought into one small step early on. Yeah, I agree. There's more important things. Yeah, but like you said, it seems pretty straightforward. Uh, you do have a lot of ops. Do you maybe was Fidel? I was on turn two, so you can't risk taking Q yet. Yeah, you want probably one more in Angola. One more. So you have, what, 10 ops? You need one in Angola. Assuming this goes Zaire. One in South Africa. Two Mexico. And you still have quite a few ops. Right? Like, and those are just the things on the board where you look at, you're like, oh, we really want to do that. Yeah. So you, you could have the luxury of overprotecting France from the Gaul. Yeah, I think that's a pretty good luxury that you have right now with this board. Jordan to crawl back to Israel. I really like the idea of the Algeria poke. Uh, it's something they could do in the next hour or two here. Yeah. Eventually you'll probably want to use Cambridge, the coup, Tunisia, if you, they don't play non-battlegrounds. Yeah, but I think ops. before you poke, you space. Yep. You don't want to suddenly lose tempo from having to space. Get that out of the way. And now you can... Oh, wow. Oh, MIDI scoring, too. Oh. They redrew Two everything cards they were scoring cards. Yeah, very good early war so far for Team China. That's just not what you want to be seeing. Yep, there's the poke. I like that, because then you could use Marshall into Saharan, and then if they don't coup it, you get Nigeria, and if they coup it... Huh. I feel like I like the poke more, but yeah, I guess that I... also sets up for future real lines. Yeah, well, I think they're trying to get the, the mill op obligation out of the way. All right, that's fair. And they get a fat roll. Yeah, that's, so that's going to be really nice. Nine, nine VP going into the mid-war. But the board is not that bad for them. Oh, oh trying to get that the was a one right crew. back. <laughs> yeah, that's good. I also, I, I, honest, this is the one time where I don't think I like Cambodia there or Cameroon. Um, you don't yeah, want to coup right now with a four off, right? No, wait until so, AR6 to do that. Yeah. I agree. I think, I think you wait till AR6 there. You don't want to lock in four offs onto a coup to get Nigeria back. There's more things you could do on the board. I gotta hope they fail. Oh my goodness. Wow. wow. <laughs> that was lucky. That was for sure. Yeah, I agree for sure. Um, not going into Cameroon there, but it worked out for him. Nigeria, France, and Angola. Oh, just playing aggressive on Africa. I like it. Yeah, yeah for sure. I like breaking it because, I mean, if they coup, then you get Algeria and. The only thing, though, is still like the Portuguese or South African unrest headline just can basically lead to Africa being close to flip. Yeah, so I like that more. You still accomplish the same thing, and Portuguese or South African doesn't flip Angola. I think yeah. that's the move. Yeah, I agree. I mean, you still now, broke Algeria anyway, so if they coup something like Nigeria, you can take Algeria. Yeah, so you're trading a two step for a one step for a two step. That's fine. That's a pretty good trade. Oh, a that that's a lot some, of red. <laughs> that is some crap. Yeah. Cross your fingers for that double space. Yeah, they're gonna that double space would definitely be helpful this turn. 
three access cards in their hand. Well, four if you count liberation. Four. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Four. This might be the single worst turn four USSR hand that I can imagine. Yeah, very bad. I'm trying to think what would make this worse. OPEC. Gunman. OPEC. <laughs> Muslim. Oh, Muslim even isn't awful. You can I mean, basically like from things that actually do have... Oh, wow. Oh. And you're getting... Oh, man. Not what they wanted to start turn four with. Nope, because suddenly Africa is going to look real red. So, assuming Destal is either the hold or space, how do you triage this? I think you, I, I personally think here you give up decal. Yeah, well, based off uh, how the Africa is going to change, I think decal is not as bad to give up. Yeah, I no. agree. Uh, they have no access to the Americas right now. You can't give up liberation or... Well, I mean, well, you're, you're gonna give you up are Allende. giving up liberation or Allende if you don't double space, get the double space shot. So yeah, yeah. Destal is definitely you don't want to give up for sure. So, uh, man. You really have to pray you somehow get the rules to get the double space off here. Oh, Africa was looking so good, and now suddenly you're thinking about, oh yeah, I'm going to have to event decal this turn. That's fun. Yeah. <laughs> so you could get realigned out of uh, South Africa. Africa is just so swingy. Like you can have control sometimes, and that can even flip disappear and, uh, very control. quickly. Yeah, that just makes Algeria that much more important, being a two stab. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then you have to you have to overprotect Nigeria. back I guess the coup back's not that bad you need the mill oh, off the way I guess that's Willie now I think you coup pray that you don't get a one here Oof. and now starts what's almost going to be four empty action rounds this, yeah. this hand is so ugly. <laughs> you need that double space so badly. You're going to be down on a lot of VP, so OPEC, hopefully they can get... Jeez. And maybe Jeez. something to do with Africa, grand sales. Willie, you need to do Nigeria, no? Collect. You gotta do Nigeria, Germany. Recall time? Oh, man. I think you are protect first, right? Nigeria? Yeah. And then event it and then repair. I so the other thing that they might be thinking on the willy on how to play this out is no matter what they do, Nigeria is done. Let them spend three or four ops to flip Nigeria and let's just triage Africa and try and hold on to South yeah. Africa and Algeria. Yeah, I think trying for I space is good. I don't agree with but, the decal space. I think yeah. liberation's worse. Liberation, I yeah, agree. Yeah, I agree with worse. that too. 
if you could get them to put three or four ops into Nigeria here, Decal becomes very playable. Yeah, they're moving away from the decal. You you just can't give Lib Theo here. This is also the type of board where, like, I could hypothetically see um, Team China going for like one of those weird, uh, like, headline Panama Canal returns to try and coup it to get in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think the first time I saw someone do that to me, I was just like, what? Why are they headlining PCR? And it's like, it's oh, just so bad if it's like Panama Canal and then your opponent headlines like CMC or something. <laughs> yeah. Or That's lowers the exactly death count anyway. To me. The first time I saw that PCR headline from someone else, I'm like, oh, that's a really clever idea. I'm going to try that sometime. And then the first and only time I tried it, yeah, they dropped DEFCON in the headline. So, uh, yeah. It didn't work too well for me. No. Sometimes you got to take a risk, though, if you're behind or way ahead, like China's way ahead here. So, mm -hmm. but I mean, maybe since you are way ahead, you don't you don't risk it. Well, I mean, it, you're way ahead, but at the same time, like, you also have to consider, ooh, that's a big space, fifth, halfway there. You're way ahead, but also it's like, it could turn around very quick if the U.S. gets access, and you just don't know where when the access is going to come, especially if you start seeing, like, decal and lip theo space. So mm -hmm. I, I just disagree with decal over Allende, I think. Don't give up decal here now because the only thing getting them into the Americas would be Rush, Punta, or a big coup. That's it. So I think you could probably have got like one or two controls in the Americas if you see. And now, yeah, yeah now you get the event, and it wouldn't have mattered that much anyway. Yeah, is decal even that bad? My my honest answer is yeah. No, play not. decal, base liberation, destall, hold Allende. Yeah, so they're gonna give Allende instead. So you have to space here. Oh yeah. Yeah. So Southeast Asia's four, five, four. I Willie's five, so suddenly you're going to be at fourteen. Yeah, that is really when you start getting up there, and you look at the board, and you're say you say to yourself, "Can Ch Team China find six VP on the board?" And the answer is definitely yes. Yeah, Africa scoring obviously. OPEC is three right now. Yeah, and base oh, and team. I was going to say we get Europe scoring coming out. You get some uh, South America access for Team Canada, then we're going to see this game turn pretty quick. Yeah, so Team Canada needs to get in control of the access to the Americas and be in control of the scorings. Yeah. And suddenly, if you see a USSR turn five Punta headline, your whole dreams of the board start disappearing very quickly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if USA can get the Americas, that's so much VP. Alliance and both scoring cards. Yeah, if you could like knock off like a four to eight point AFP or four to seven point AFP, you're looking pretty good. So what is China thinking about now? Do you use Willy to do one West Germany, one Philippines to just get that one VP back? Maybe with the score bad or scoreboard looking so bad right now. China really doesn't have too much to do with their ops. Fill up battlegrounds in Middle East for OPEC, overprotect Nigeria. It wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Maybe even use it to overprotect France as well. Because, well, I guess China already has access to France, so they could poke it whenever they wanted. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
So what, what do you guys like for the end day? So obviously I end day is going to be AR seven here, right? Goes without saying. Yeah. Do you go for the hero realign or do you like Kusaharan states to set up realigns later on Nigeria? I, I would try and realign out. I mean, you could also hope on getting access cards like Junta and blocking them off or something, or at least splitting South America 50-50. Yeah, I mean, it's such a small chance of succeeding. It's like a 16% chance or something. I I think the coup would be better. 16% is that's not that bad. That's just a die roll. No. <laughs> yeah. But uh, Who's playing for... Team China asked him. I'm going to type it in chat. Chin and Chung, Chung Chin, Ru. Chin Grui. Chin Grui. <laughs> Chin Grui. I mean, I, I've had a few very weird plays recently where it's like someone headlined Asia. Asia scoring, I headlined five year plan. I picked up Japan, so I got Asia from <laughs> it went from Asia from being even to Dom. Yeah, where you pick um, up Usuri or something crazy. I've had a couple really funny plays recently where like my opponents have headlined scorings and you get like a one in six or one in seven draw and you suddenly flip a region in the headline from dumb blind luck. So I don't know. It happens enough where one in six, one in seven, I think you could go with the IND realign. I think it's so valuable. Because either way, you could probably flip Nigeria with a three or four op. Yeah. Assuming I mean, you if you think them. about it, it's so much VP if you can't get access into there in time. Yeah. You could lose the whole South America if they just move into Uruguay and you can't coup it back. I'm trying to really thinking this one through though. You probably went to the restroom or something. <laughs> <laughs> or they're planning their turn five. <laughs> See, this is where they should have got sank on the team because they probably could have used the entire timer of 15 minutes to finish the game already. Oh yeah. But I don't know. I mean, it's team games are a lot different dynamic than playing single player. Like you, I mean, it's a lot easier to play faster when it's like only your thoughts in your head and you don't have to like defend your, your move. I feel like Sank could find a way to talk quickly enough to pull it off. <laughs> so what Kano really would like to see is like a Europe drop. Just get the VP track under control a bit. I wonder if China is now thinking like watching all the access cards slowly disappear, knowing that Canada is holding D still. Are they thinking about what can they do to get in? Yeah, or maybe they they're trying to like they got them pegged for a weekend, so they're trying to see if they can cause more problems than they already have, but. If they haven't been pegged for the weekend and they know it, then oh, you go, that's oh weird. boy. Mm, maybe they were thinking about that's... taking more Middle East countries. Yeah. Philippines, Germany. Yeah, it's reasonable, especially with the scoreboard where it's at. Yeah. Yeah. Be a lot of so problems if China broke France. I've, I've assumed China has to feel like this hand is super weak. All right, well, there goes now, the uh, Iende coup. Yeah, now you realign. You yep. Go for the one and six to wipe them out. Mm -hmm. Ooh, nice. Oh, Very oh, nice. Do you oh, risk two cards wow. here, though? That is going to be... I don't. I don't uh, think you risk two cards. I think you hold D stall. Because I mean, you could always space D stall anyway, and you want to hold it from salt. Yeah, I mean, with the scoreboard uh, where it's at, 
why not take the risk? Yeah, take the risk to get some cards. I mean, you just lose the game if you draw Africa. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. You have to dodge Africa before some VP come their way. But they have Junta. Mm. They have Arms Race. They have IP War, which has to go to space now. Yeah, it's not a not a bad hand after seeing the last one. But you can't play you can't play IP War with Flower Power at sixteen. You can't yeah. do it. You Even might be able to catch like every Africa here in the headline. Every VP counts right now. Mm. You have to defect. Yeah, yeah, you, you go defectors. It's, until you can play at any point, like, it, you don't yeah. even get the benefit of dropping Defcon um, con with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I don't think China should risk Africa for sure, but... No, they will not drop Africa in the headline. I'd be shocked oh, to see it. that. I'd be absolutely shocked. Oh yeah, because rear guards and so many other things probably could mess it up, but there's no point in really just yeah, waiting that's anyway. Good, so that's a great defect. Yeah. So OAS, do you do top and bottom of the two Americas? That was oh, cool. that's oh yeah. You go for you got to fill up something in central here because. We're going pretty That's heavy boring. Forward. Yeah. Although maybe you just do one small step into Mexico, as if they have it, you're just going to drop it as soon as you go Mexico. Yeah, or they drop it and you get nothing from it. Yeah. yeah, well, you have to I mean, I guess something. you have. I guess actually, between Junta and OAS, you have access to Panama and both sides of the uh, South America. Have we mm -hmm. seen Five Year Plan, or are they still holding it? Um, we saw it uh, turn two, I believe. Two. Right. Oh, so it hasn't come back yet. I like this. I mean, you're you're going to force them to drop Central right now if they have, and if not you'll be able to OAS and get more. Omit to poke. Yeah. What to do, what to do. I think I owe it OAS top bottom and then Junta into Panama. Yeah, that's reasonable. I don't like Nicaragua. I think you go Haiti because a good coup on Nicaragua, they can walk to Costa Rica. Yeah. I, agree. I think it's I think that's really small issue, but I think it's an issue nonetheless. Well it's not a factor in this game, but Ortega also wipes you out of Nicaragua. So I almost always go to Haiti for that reason. Oh, you can't do that with... They see flower power, they're like, yeah, oh no, yeah. they saw IP that. Wars. <laughs> IP Wars not playable, we're not doing that. Yeah, that's space. <laughs> Drag that one to the right. Yeah, and I'm, I'll probably want to... I don't know. Do you hold Junta? Because you're not going to be able to coup to lower Defcon anyway. But no, because if you hold Junta, you're self quagging to get rid of cultural and IP war. Oh, that's right. Uh, they gave I'm up the China card right now. Yeah, I'm not crazy right now about a self quag, but no, definitely not. Well, I mean, I guess you either have to self quag or give China back because I actually think IP war is unplayable at the moment. I agree. I mean, it's a 50 50 just to do nothing. Well, I mean, you get your VP still, your mill ops. I think it's playable. Mm. 
I don't like being at 18. uh... (laughs) That's true, yeah. Mm -hmm. Because even, like, if you get the space off, then suddenly you're out of Africa scoring range. And you can, like, there's a breather available to you, right? Mm -hmm. So... Yeah, like you're definitely hoping for South or Central action. to score before Africa. Yeah, going back to 16 is not great. I feel like you just coup with one small step. I, I would consider the self-quag here, to be honest, actually. There's not that much damage they can do except in Europe, so you just overprotect France and West Germany, and you self-quag. Yeah, then they probably just take Algeria or... Yeah, look, they're they're talking about the self quag. They they're yeah. dividing things that we want to play, things that have to can't be played. And I think um, UK, I think, isn't overprotected, so they could even if they have Europe, if China has Europe scoring, they could poke UK and then drop it for basically free. Yeah, they could just poke West Germany. That would be very sad to see if they self-quag and then end up losing that big uh, Europe scoring. Oh, now they give up NORAD. Oh, this is scary. Oh, you survived that. And now suddenly you're like, oh, quag, do we have to just do it? (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Now it's not looking so good. I mean, you don't have the ops to fill Canada this turn, so at yeah. most you're getting four turns of an active NORAD, which, like, I could see some value in it, but at the same time, like... Yeah, there's eh. events, too, that could make it trigger more often. We've already seen ABM. Uh, I guess there's still salt and stuff, but... Two... Uh, oh, I guess to protect from the brush war. Okay, yeah. I like it. I mean, Chile's still ripe for the realign, so not crazy, but okay. Yeah, I, I don't like the realign really because I mean, they just move into Uruguay and then you cool. But and you're holding Junta, so if they do realign you out, you can Junta back down there. Oh, they did have Europe. That that's a breather. Yeah, yeah for sure. Okay, so now Indo Pack, I think you're a little more willing to give up. You still got yeah, double space though. Um, Old cultural. Oh, that's true. They well, they had double space. I think you just event Indo Pack now for the 50 50. Because yep. you need the mill ops anyway. Are you thinking about giving China back? Mm, I don't yeah. like giving China back. I don't think I like it either, but. Still have Nixon and Usuri out, though. I mean, either way, you need the mill off, so you either coup right now with one small step and you put put this off, or you event IP war. Oh, no. No, no, no. Oh. Oh, I guess their thought on Panama is that they can junta into junta. Panama and then... Yeah, just yeah, coup Colombia. Yeah. Colombia. Well, but that, they're not getting mill ops from that, though. No. Yeah, just coup with one small step. Yeah. Well, if they coup with one small step, then they're saying we're playing China. We're playing cultural. So. No, because you can still play Indo Pack. No, if, if they coup for their mill ops, they're, they're basically saying we're not oh, playing. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you're right. I would hold off on playing cultural, though. I wouldn't them the chance to potentially I don't think they'll use the China card again this turn but gives them the option if you give it back to them now 
I mean, they had to play NORAD, so they're kind of saying their hand is weak, right? Like, right. They're going for what the did they space? Control. I forget. No, VOA was space. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't like this. Well, the logic here is they'll coup, they'll hunt into Panama, coup it back, and they'll have control and presenceless domination. Not that bad. Um, yeah. But then they're also saying AR7 is going to be a coup, which leaves a lot of like shenanigans that could happen on the board. And you have, oh, yeah. You have the chance that Running the... Into uh... chair. Oh, oh, but they're, that's they're a... lucky. They are really lucky. That was a low roll. Oops. That's not the right button. I just hit the game from them for a second. All right, there we go. I had some of it cut off by mistake. Yeah, they really lucked out there because if that was a big roll, like yeah. you've, you've given them presence in the Americas. Two. Oh Ooh. well, actually, they're, they're gonna they're gonna coup anyway, so I'll give you a target. Assuming they're cooing it back here. Oh, <laughs> and China <laughs> just being traded <laughs> back and forth. No one wants the China card this turn. I mean, you have to coup Colombia back. Yeah, cooing in Africa doesn't change anything. No. Yeah, you... Yeah, coup Colombia is way better than trying to activate yeah, Norad right now. You don't want to give up two EVs right now. Oh, man. And a big six. Oh, yep. and that so. hand, that's a, oh, they need that. That's and the hand you're looking for. Nuclear subs. Um, subs can fix Africa pretty quick. Although all the one stabs are kind of either way overprotected or surrounded. Yeah, if you headline nuke subs, then they probably just drop Africa if they haven't. Yeah, and then but then you just drop South America. I I like subs. Yeah, at, at the very least for the threat, even if you don't end up uh, breaking into Africa. Because so I don't think grain they... cells five year plan hitting grain cells would be interesting. Because I don't, I think if you subs, they don't coup on the first turn, and I think you don't want them to coup, because you want to get presenceless domination in South America. Yeah. Because that's what six or seven VP right now. Going with five year plan. Maybe thinking about it. Yeah, if you end up getting control, it's worth uh, three more. Ooh, brush oh, brushwork. And Comic Con. Yeah. Oh. They get it. That is. That's just Big tragic. Brush I mean, you still should get 5 VP from the domination in the end, right? Not unless they get a uh, coup in Venezuela here. Which would actually be super tragic. Ooh, nope. Oh, one. wow. That was. Man. But you live to fight another day. I would rather just hold you in. Like... Well, they don't want to play you two and then you win. Well, I'm just saying hold you in. Oh, just. Oh. No, cause... Space De Gaulle or Space U2. No, because you're, sp you're still spacing IQ or. Oh yeah, you still have that pesky card in your hand. Yeah, you're 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 dropping that war. 
And sometimes flower power, you see it in your hand, you're like, oh, yes, I don't, I don't care. This is a pretty nice four op to have. But then you play it early and you run into problems like this. And then sometimes you play Tim Furrow and he events flower power in turn four and gets eight VP off it on the turn. Things happen <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> oh, geez. Columbia just can't get a solid government in this game. You do one, two, two Uruguay poke Brazil with Japan. Um, Who back? I guess you need the mill ops though. Yeah. Mill ops, yeah. That seems safer. Mm -hmm. It does seem safer. Oh, the big question, does China have the Central America scoring? Because you, that, that's what you need to drop this turn, right? That's seven, eight, eight VP right now. Yeah. You want to see Central and not Africa this turn. Yeah. Slowly turning it around now. They're, they are, but they still have a lot to do on the board, right? Like you still, they need presence in Middle East by the next, by the end of this turn. They need, like, I know shuttles out right now, but you probably want Japan at some point to balance Asia. Mm -hmm. You could even maybe grab domination there with shuttle. And Formosan's out, so available. So getting Japan suddenly gets you a shuttle domination plus a real domination with Formosan. You want to start considering, do we fill Canada? There's a lot to do on the board. And instead you might get stuck into this dumb coup war in Colombia. But from a, we haven't seen Green Puppet, um, Gunman, Air Trap out there, the Dot, Camp David, Rear Guards, Usuri. Yeah, guards, lots of Blue Guards. There's, there's some problems out there. Lions, too. We saw all the red, we saw all the red cards on turn four in Canada's hand, so. <laughs> yeah, <you know. laughs> we did. <laughs> <laughs> The deck, the deck is depleted. It really like gunmen. You will bury you. That there really aren't that many red cards left, like of consequence at least. So Yon saying, if they had central, they wouldn't have cooped food Venezuela. A guaranteed um, reshuffle, right? With uh. Ask not dumping too. South America either. Yeah, I mean, I think Jan is probably right in the end that it, they they wouldn't have cooed Venezuela if they had Central, but they we also know that they cooed Venezuela without having South America. So a little bit of both. Again, lots of discussion. Yeah. Canada's wait. Wait, is Canada actually lower on the clock? Huh. That's interesting. I would have thought that they'd be ahead right now. Yeah, for sure. And it's like by a lot 10, 15 minutes or whatever. Considering the restroom breaks to... by Team China. Oh. oh. That might be what you wanted there. Because really, the coup war in Colombia, I don't think, serves you well if you're Team Canada. I don't know. Maybe you just... I, I'm starting to lean towards where Max was at, taking two Uruguay and breaking Brazil. Yeah, I, I think that's good, because then they can't coup you out of Uruguay, because they need to fix Brazil. 
Yeah, and then you get an opportunity yeah. to space as well. Well, then Perhaps, you score, I guess. and yeah, you get score I guess. Time. I mean, no pack's not a bad hold card, so that you're not going to get ward for the rest of the game there. But at the same time, the space VP are very juicy. I think this is where China has a break in the mo in the tempo to go for space and get the VP. Mm -hmm. You could also, if this you want to be like risky, realign Brazil here if they space. Brazil would be three VP if they could fill it, but yeah. But if you don't, I mean, I'm not crazy about it. Oh yeah, you can't. They don't even have a hold card. They they you end. No, I I think Uruguay tap Brazil is just like. A safe, proper way you'll get four VP out of it. Mm -hmm. That's good. What about just ramming Brazil and strong arming it in hopes that they don't have a free three up? Yeah, because I mean, then they would have to grab I've... Uruguay for two VP. Yeah, I mean, Canada's keeping track of the cards, so they'll they'll know better. Okay, well, that, that and, kind of starts settling yes. the tempo move. And, like, given the cards that are still out there, like, in terms of three ops, like Alliance, Bear Trap, Brezhnev, Salt, Suri, mm -hmm. like, jamming Brazil might not be a bad idea. Yeah, you could even do this first and then jam Brazil. I'm not... I, I think... The Brazil jam might be better because they might coup Uruguay here. Yeah, that's true. It's an inefficient play, but like I feel like they don't have that much else to do on the board. I mean, Japan, like you said, is pretty important. Just taking Japan alone would give them domination for the reshuffle in Asia scoring. Yeah. So South America comes out. And now they're going to brush War Panama. Yes. And oh. it misses. Whoa. <laughs> I think you space before you coup. Oh, yeah, they have two, two ARs. Yeah, I like spacing better. Yeah. Do you give the China card up and I say no. It's, I say uh... no. Well, so if you get a big coup off and can flip Nigeria, Africa goes from minus four to plus one. That it's not a bad I yeah, yeah, I don't know. It's all around ick. Knowing you Surrey's still out there, I don't think mm. you do it. you have to coup Nigeria here. Yes. And that's even a two, anything but Ooh, a one word. Monster. Ooh, that's nice. big. Oh, you read your brush war. Oh. That brush war is super, super juicy. You have alliance in your hand, so it can't be spaced. Don't have presidents so have in the Middle East. Will, so. No, they have. We will bury you. Yep. Central. Uh, bear traps in their hand. Gunman. Ustari is also mm -hmm. very strong. Double break the Koreas, or a uh, Korea and Thailand, like. Camp David also gives you presence in the Middle East. That's true. Yeah, and a VP. What's the Middle East worth right now? Six. Okay. 
there probably is l very little they can do to mess up this Africa. So I, I see the value there. That's one thing they could do. Well, they'd have to have a big coup. Yeah, the, this coup would this. have to be monstrous. Because yeah. they have to either flip Algeria or flip Nigeria. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's... yeah, they were lucky they had a really big role last turn. Oh! <laughs> no. Wow! Oh, Wow. I guess that oh makes god. up for the one that they rolled on the brush oh. war. Jeez. Oh my god. How unfortunate. Only a six would have got on that domination. Oh. I could literally just imagine them all just kind of like saying, did that really just happen? They're all like, did that, that happen, right? That that happened? Yeah. Okay. They're, they're probably using some words uh, other than that, but yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh man. <laughs> Still, you should be in decent shape here. Uh, well, that well, yeah, not as good, next, but yeah, you got alliance and hopefully grab central. It's a lot of VP coming the blue way. Yeah, you you need a brush. You would need a brush, Mexico. This is big here. I mean, you could realign it too, and then no, brush they, war they, Brazil. They just, you got good realign they targets. Dump, they just dump the scoring. Oh yeah, that's true. They just have, dump it because you don't have, even have domination there for two. You could poke it and play one into Haiti if you okay. wanted to do that. Oh but. man! All right. Well, they get it. Because the only other real brush war target, I think, is at the moment is Thailand, right? Thailand's, yeah. Brazil. I mean, I guess. But Thailand's worth more in, in the long run. It's got two protected, though. Mm. Well, you'd be Surrey to Vietnam and South Korea, I think. Alliance is six. That's big. Central's eight. So suddenly the VP track's dead even. Not bad, Team Canada. Not bad. Mm -hmm. and like Still really close overall. for final. Oh, yeah, I think overall, maybe even tilting blue now. You got Europe, I, Central, I South. Asia Middle East needs is a little work, even. But doable. I mean, you yeah. could just NATO Saudi and Iraq quick and then Camp David and suddenly the Middle East. Yeah, I don't think Middle East is too much of a problem. No. Wait. China has five-year plan, no? Oh, that's no, right. they don't. Have... That, was, that was played last turn. Oh, it was? played last turn? Oh, yeah, uh, they, they, headlined, they, headlined, they headlined, it. headlined it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Five-second memory of a goldfish. Yeah, that, oh, that, do, that, that would that be awful do. if they had five-year plan. I feel like it's so much harder to remember the cards that have been played when I'm not actually in the game. Uh, oh, definitely, I agree. Probably just because so I the have other attention. Yeah, I'm like that too. The other concern for China is that if they self-bear trap, they know they're in a lot of problems because of Usuri. Because Asia is going to get flipped right away, right? Oh, yeah. Yep. They have some rough cards. I mean, Colonial, I guess, is more annoying than rough at this point. Okay, they're preparing maybe for a yeah. fair trip here. I think that's exactly what they're doing. Uh, I think Do you, you have time for Egypt Alliance. First? I, I think you at least event Camp David. I feel like you have time on this. Yeah. Yeah, nothing, nothing's happening that's going to really screw up Alliance.
Still got Canada sitting at two with NORAD. I can't see Canada getting filled anytime soon. Yeah, I think the, the battlegrounds are more important in the Middle East. I like Taiwan. I'm uh, not a fan of Afghanistan. Oh, yeah, so. Japan or Taiwan first. Yeah. If, I mean, if they would have had Asia, they would have dumped it. Their last action. I run. like that. I like Israel, knowing that you're going to vent Camp David. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Because now I think they know all six, probably, because how I learned was the last redraw. So how I learned uh, maybe it was unknown. Yeah. So I don't. I feel like there can't be before. too many unknowns. Yeah. So they have uh, colonial grain sales, bear trap, bear trap, Brezhnev. No, oh, Canada has Brezhnev. Central scoring. Mind. Well, oh yeah, central scoring. That's a big one. Uh, special relationship, I think. So and... They they have to self trap realistically. I feel like you don't want to give up colonial. Actually, is Colonial really that bad? No. Uh, I mean, Nigeria is really the only issue. Yeah, so so you just I think you give up back into Nigeria. I think you could give up Colonial here. There's the big one. Here comes the blue yeah. VP train now. Mm-hmm. You, I, I feel like they know their that their opponent's hands bad, but you could kind of keep putting some more pressure on right now. I like Camp David there. Yeah. Get Egypt close to going blue, also, and suddenly you, suddenly you're way ahead on the board, right? Like. Yep. All right. Here's the self trap. Island. You, you the other flip two Thailand with China here, no? You, well, do you want to give it up? I mean, you can hold it the rest of the you game. Just take North want. Korea over flipping Thailand. Why, why, why Vietnam and not just breaking another battleground? Russia yeah, that I don't, I don't understand that. Mm. Or take put ops into Taiwan like, or Japan. Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> Have we seen Japan again? Uh, that was used a turn or two ago. Oh, yeah, yeah by so US? It's, it's back in the deck. Yeah, by the US, yeah. I like South Korea or Thailand more. Just keep threatening. Mm. I think if Brush was still in the deck, it's a different story. I mean, I guess there's like the option of like Star Wars or whatever. So Brezhnev to take North Korea. Get some ops into the Middle East, perhaps. Mm -hmm. And you're looking. Oh, ouch! Oh, that's rough. Oh man. Oh man. Oh, now Brezhnev into the Middle East. That's fine because they're gonna. They're saying, okay, we'll headline Camp. Oh, headline Camp time. David, yeah. And then, okay, then they could use NORAD potentially to fill Korea. Yeah, I'd rather break a, yeah. break a battleground.
the thing is, is like, where, what are you? Well, I guess you be able to flip Egypt. Yeah, because if you headline camp, trigger NORAD, you could get one more. You could break Egypt and then take it. It's not bad. The only problem here is like no matter how tempting it is to headline something else, you have to headline Camp David. Yeah. Yeah, it does kind of limit you. Like it definitely limits your headline. I feel like North Korea is the right move. Play it safe. It's a back and forth. The call's still out, right? Filling the deck. Yeah, the you end it uh, a little bit ago. Israel's so they're settling from the camp, David. Yeah. Not bad. No, again, it limits your headline, but I think it's, uh, well, we'll see what they finally do, but I, I think that's a reasonably safe play. Like Middle East, yeah. bad Middle East scoring, I think could be killer here. Gonna spend that uh those ops back at back at home. Take Canada. I feel like the NORAD ops aren't going to be too valuable. Yeah, no, I agree. I would much rather take North and uh, I, Israel. Yeah, I, I like this. I think Camp David's a great, good headline. Oh, there's Asia. See, this is where it's like, oh, CMC <laughs> looks really good. Tear down this wall yeah. looks yeah. really good. <laughs> so and many other like, better headlines. <laughs> so many headlines look really good, but it's like, okay, we really should headline Camp David, though. <laughs> So Asia's what seven right now with shuttle active? Like that's suddenly Canada's looking really good on this board. Yeah, oh wow. Lyrics. Oh no. Whoa. Oh no. It's a disaster oh, if they get if Middle they East off presence list. Nope. Oh, they only have it. No. Oh. Wow, Venezuela. Oh, but oh, no adjacency. No, no adjacency. Mm. That's going to even out south. Mm -hmm. I like Israel Botswana here, I think. Yeah, the Colombia like doesn't really threaten anything. They're gonna fill Venezuela no matter what. It's always nice to have though. In case something happens that you can flip Venezuela or Brazil or have adjacency. Yeah, I'm sure. The four up into Brazil is interesting because then they gotta respond with a four up card. Mm. Which they might not have. Yeah, I like that play. Suddenly, Canada could be in war games territory. 
big turn of events. Yeah, we were talking just a couple turns ago. They were afraid to play Indo Pack because of the VP <laughs> Two VP. No problem at all now. And here's the thing: the crazy, like this timing of scorings, right? If set, oh no, oh. are they adjacent? No, they're not. Oh no, they're not. They're not. So can't flip it. But now, does Canada use the four up back? That was such a good play. Oh, yeah, I don't think you have to use China here. So Canada is going to hope for the real lines, which like, oh, eh. it's reasonable. Yeah, I mean, if they it's take reasonable, Argentina. reasonable, you get burned off that. You right. get burned off that. Very sneaky play using Thatcher there. That's a that's a top quality play, I think. And then space UN tear down this wall AR seven maybe. Yeah, that could be reasonable. All right, so they don't have a lot of ops left because they didn't uh, out through in the Thatcher threat. So they're playing into Iraq for either Middle East or OPEC. So I feel squads to Israel and Argentina is a great, mm -hmm. is a solid move here. Do you think? they have Middle East, or do you think they would have dropped it AR-1? I think they, they would have it. dropped it with Lebanon since they use Marine Barracks for no presence, if yeah, they had so it. Maybe they have OPEC. They're saving squads for their coup card. Probably time to either coup or drop Asia this turn. There's OPEC. There's the events. That's All juicy. Right, drop Asia. That was a very ju juicy. OPEC. Do you want Asia to come out before Middle East? Do you maybe hold Asia? I guess it doesn't no, matter I, since I they mean, got four battlegrounds in Middle East, so. Yeah, it's not like you were flipping a domination there. Mm -hmm. So here's the, I'll never understand the special poke UK when NATO is not active. France is at seven two. Yeah, it got like it's overprotected to hell. Yeah, They're gonna I mean, one I, more into France. Like, I see it a little bit more here because I mean they don't have a non battleground yeah, other yeah. than that. So, I mean, it blocked domination. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I know, it's just I'm so like, easily fixable. I quite like, are you willing to trade two VP on the board somewhere for one more op in France, or two ops on the board for one op in France? I, I think that's a trade you should take. But they have to fix it. True. Yeah. Yeah. But you're saying just why not just throw two on Saudi or something? I like that. Take Canada. Maybe do a little get annoying with NORAD. I also think it's very possible you're not going to get a NORAD off. So, but I guess the one extra off now into Canada. Sure, you take the gamble on NORAD, right? Yeah, might, yeah, as, well. might as well. ABM come comes back around. So you coup then space, I think. I think you coup first. Yeah, I agree. They they don't know that you don't. 
not like they might not know that you don't have a space card, but they know for sure you need a coup. So. Okay. This is looking good. So Junta and ABM can make a big difference on this board to like flip Central or South America. Asia, I guess cu cultural's gone. So Asia's kind of locked up as long as DEF CON doesn't go up to four for realignments. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Oh, that's bad. But you could. You could just give up Che here, no? Anchor yeah, like I mean, Botswana would be the coup for one of them. Mm -hmm. Botswana and Costa Rica? Yeah. Or that. I mean, that that's a good break. Yeah, I like that. I'd rather break something in the Middle East. Oh, all right. Well, say goodbye That's to South Africa. Yeah. I kind of like Colombia, like one Venezuela, one Colombia there. Yeah, threaten to realign. Right, because you could set it. Three lines and you keep you like keep the domination set up. That's that that is the move I think to me. Yeah, keeping the domination then, I think is better. Oh, their plan is. Oh, to they're China. gonna use just take China. it. Man. They're gonna use the North Sea. Okay, I like it. I like it. I no, you you need to put one in Pakistan if you're gonna do that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because now for most, it's gone. Realize. Shuttle's gone. Yeah. So you need to put one pack. Because I think having Asia domination for final scoring is something you definitely are going to care about. Yeah. I mean, they're still ahead without Asia, but... One of those things like why not why not just overprotect it yeah versus overprotecting venezuela yeah if you're going to overprotect venezuela or pakistan i think you overprotect pakistan that's all and the saharan plays good i mean you're threatening to the nigeria flip because they've left it at one mm -hmm. So two one one seems like a pretty solid move. And actually, Saharan um, protects you a little bit too, even if you can't get the flip off for whatever reason. It's uh, protecting Algeria a little bit. Can, um, well, I guess they have adjacency to it, so. Here's the, uh, yeah, and like Lone Gunman's gone, Ortega Spaceable. I, I think you can give up China here, but I, I think if you give up China, you just have to overprotect Pakistan. Besides yes. that, I mean, I would say Canada's up on the board. Yep, I agree. Yeah, just make it harder for USSR and not give them the China card. All right. And they don't. Puppet. Evil Empire is 3 VP. Puppet gets you into Colombia. Not a lot of ops, but the hand is very playable, I think. Mm -hmm. It sucks that you're only 3 off card is evil empire which you probably want to have been because of the war in your hand yeah although um the war is spaceable it's better to resolve yeah. it though to try and have a chance of flipping a country i think 
Five or yeah, six. Yeah, that's true. You do want to event it. And South African basically gives up South Africa. Oh, so, oh, there goes your three up card. Oh, there goes Evil Empire. There. Oh, that sucks. And they also now know that you're only three up. They know that you only have. Yeah, at least you have the China card still as an option to use if you have to. But yeah, I could see this being a turn where you would use China. Also, it just sucks giving up China going to turn ten. Yeah. So if you're China, do you do Venezuela and then try and realign Brazil before China could respond? Oh, they coup Argentina. Oh, wow. And then they just take Venezuela. And yeah, you have don't. to realign Venezuela. And they know wow. you're missile envy. We only have two cracks at the realign, so they're going to just dump all three in. Nope. Two, Interesting three. they overprotected first. Because, I mean, they only have missile envy so, to use. You could have maybe waited on Nigeria. Yeah, I agree. Oh, oh that's oh, not a good start. That's devastating. No. Oh, Ouch. they're one four. Oh, South America was so blue and now it's so red. Oh, you're going to get realigned there also. No, no question. Yeah, this is going to be bad. Watch, they'll get the real line on Brazil so quickly that they, uh, oh no, eventing Pershing. So what does that tell uh, you that they're eventing Pershing now? Maybe Europe? Maybe? So early though, wouldn't you rather catch them later right. in the turn if you had Europe? Hey, you know, they have China. I mean, so if I was Canada, I think I hold terrorism. Oh, no. That's that's really bad. And they're run out of usable apps here. Yeah, they only got two. I think you I think China to Chile to Peru is worth the worth it. Yeah, because if they take Peru, those realigns suddenly you're controlled. You, I, I think you have to play China here. I don't like it. Uh -oh. oh, crap. Maybe they played Pershing to try and maybe they have a way to get to six. Four games, yeah. Yeah, hold it for the next turn. You have to take Peru or Ku Uruguay here. The real line's just not even great right now. No, no. not with having four in Brazil. It's only a plus one. Sometimes I think people bank too hard on this plus one in South America. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because then you roll a one four. <laughs> I don't like Cameroon. I think you have to go for Uruguay. I mean, it does threaten uh, Nigeria there. Assuming you succeed. Yeah, but it. I. I mean, but it's not going to score. It's not going to score again. If you take Nigeria and they take Saudi, like South Africa, like realistically, Africa will probably end either plus four or plus six, whereas. Mm -hmm. Keeping South America either even or being ahead is a 5 DP swing. So I think you, and it hasn't been scored yet, you pour the resources into South America. I think you should be very willing to use China here as well. Yeah, Justin saying about Reformer, being worried about that now that it's USSR ahead on the VP track and 2 to each one. And limited ops oh, in your hand for sure. Being at three. Mm. Yeah. 
Yeah, that would be a much scarier uh, AR6 or AR7 play. Also, the space versus the one small step threat is real. No one wants to stay <laughs> yeah. first without knowing where one small step is. Do you consider a vetting terrorism? I like I terrorism really turn 10 if you hold China. Especially if China... So if you hold the China card and China gets the space 4 and can't space 2 ops, I think a turn 10 terrorism event is really strong. Oh. Oh. oh well, there's one death card. That's your space card. <laughs> oh, oh, this is. Oh. Just short. Oh. <laughs> I, I like Uruguay. I think you should do Uruguay. Probably rolls the one or two anyway, so it won't matter. But yeah, I think it, like if you get that five or six, you need that on Uruguay, not Cameroon, is what it comes down to. Mm -hmm. One. All right, well, one. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't matter Called if it. you roll a one. I mean, if you're China, you. Oh wow! Oh. Dag, dag crisis. Oh. <laughs> That's a lot of. Uh, oh, yeah, Brazil goes no. to eight now. Chile's at oh. double break. So you lose Brazil out of this. Well played, China. Well, they had to. They, they, they had to figure feeling. since Evil Empire was passed on missile envy. Yeah, they might not have another three. Wow! Wow! Oh. I love how it just like depends on how bad things get cards become like look more and more reasonable to play mm -hmm. like, before South African unrest not reasonable to play whatsoever now you're like yeah I could see us playing South African unrest <laughs> into Chile yeah. or something <laughs> <laughs> like I we could give up South African South Africa for Chile yeah I think China makes sense mm-hmm I think this is a, definitely a time for China. I think you're going to get realigned anyway, which is going to suck. I would still go Chile, Peru here. I actually like taking Brazil better. You're going to get realigned no matter what. Yeah, but what if you get realigned and it's a 1 6 and then your opponent's and then influence it's gets removed? <laughs> Yeah. Even at a plus one, it doesn't matter. You have so much influence already in there. I don't even, I don't like the real line that much. I, I think holding on to one battleground in South America is pretty important to keep it reasonable. So I think you just kind of cut your losses and say we're going to hold on to Chile. Yeah, you could eventually maybe don't... make a play at Argentina too to even out South America. Yeah. Like especially if you're concerned because now they're looking at Italy, right? So I think they saw what Justin said. But if you don't want to so take Brazil, they're... then you just use a two-op card and take Chile. A two off card, you either give up two VP or you give up South Africa. I, I mean, yeah, South Africa for sure, or maybe you just put one in there with Summit and ride it out till the next turn. For the best. You just have a lot of bad choices here, nothing's good. So I think it's up on the board. Asia six, Europe's five, eleven, and Central's eight. So nineteen. 
it's a lot closer think now they're... with South uh, America getting roughed up. Red. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Africa's... And uh, holding the China card is also beneficial because, I mean, you might take Taiwan still with Formosan active. Yeah, depending on what happens there. And then you got to double back and cover Pakistan, which is still at two. Yeah, so if you give up China card, you have to double back and cover Pakistan for sure. And you're also super susceptible to just like a jam in North Korea. There's no good answer here. So maybe they're going to go with the summit choice of just riding it out. So let's say South America becomes five and Canada could hold on to one battleground. That's five with Africa at four, nine, and Middle East is five or six? Six, five. Six, yeah. Two two for domination, three for battlegrounds, five. Yeah. So it's pretty close. All right, well, they get headline peak. Well, they got war games and a decent hand for sure on turn 10. So if they can use glass, not for the coup. Yeah, before reformer, hopefully. And you don't see a headline here. Not a, no headline options, though. Yeah, EU. Yeah, EU isn't. Uh, oh, there's reformer. There's reformer. Oh. Not enough to event war games, probably, unless your opponent has multiple scorings. But given the ones that are still out there, only Europe, South Africa, or South America, it's, there's only two. I don't. I think China's ahead with this reformer move. I agree. Like and all it takes is trying to get one big coup on Mexico or something. And that's it. Like they're considering an Ortega headline. Uh, yeah, to get rid of it. You hold glass knot or space glass knot for the three VP. Hold live. Maybe South African becomes free at this point. Like China. Oh, war games like, for your what, last re- action round? In case oh, maybe like a Europe scoring. I, I, I don't mm-hmm. think you can get into war games range anymore, though. No. no. I mean, even if you did score Europe. I, yeah, China Europe scoring. They're going to just score it here. Yeah, they'll use Ortega for the coup. On uh, Cuba, those those three space VP are pretty important. Did we see this one small step? Five, yet? Yeah, um, China played it. Uh, okay. The end of last turn. Did they? Yeah, it was AR six or AR seven. Yeah. So it's five eleven, five sixteen. Plus three on the board, 19 against seven, eight, 15, five, 20. So it's 20 oh, to 19 on, on as the board stands right now, assuming Africa goes to six. Someone was asking about Glasnost for a headline, but what do you do with Glasnost if you headline? It as the USA, it doesn't do anything. Just gives them two VP and raises DEFCON. Yeah. Yeah, so I guess like two counter first. two. But I think two VP is that's too valuable. Yeah. Yeah, I think with how close this board is. That would have meant is the golf the golf's kind of free right now. Yeah, the goal is fixable. So you probably just want to use glass not to go to space. Three. Okay. That's 
that keeps Canada's hopes alive, I think. Yeah, you don't have to so fix it immediately. It's already scored, so. Mm -hmm. you have to yeah, fix your so you have time. And Canada to get your domination back. The only problem here is you're giving up Chile. But oh, that yeah. whole problem still exists. I, I don't think you can give up, let them get Europe off for free if they have it. No. You have to hold that. Yeah. Because that's worth maybe more. more games. What's Chile at right now? Is it, is it five, four, I think or one something? Of the seven. Yeah, I think a four up will take Chile. So I, I would just use war games, I think. I'd go to West Germany. One Canada, one Chile, so four game can't four up can't flip it. Granted, there might not actually be four any fours left. I I I'm sure there are some. Uh, U.S. Japan, Red Scare. Yeah, I, know. I think those are the. Oh, ABM is potentially out there. Well, I think if China has ABM, that's probably GG. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Finally, Japan gets uh -oh. filled. And now China's ahead on the board. Yes. It's only a 2VP trade, though, because they got Japan out of it. I think mm -hmm. you saw the space here. coup get rid of your obligation you could yeah what are you gonna hold liberation i guess right yeah yeah that, that that's a good use of the gall this is a very the close the domination in Europe is so weak. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. The, the... Ooh, arms. Oh race. no, that's 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 looking very China. They it's need big space, space roll. Oh, that's big. big space. Okay, they're alive. The problem here is though, there's no region flip, right? right. Like, there's no, even with war games and China. Yeah, the AR7 no, players oh, just not need, looking too hot. No, and they need presence. This is definitely one of those times where it's like, I don't know what your AR7 play is. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, breaking Argentina is 2VP. Or Chile or anywhere, but but not, yeah. I guess let like a Lebanon and a South America's four VP that you could get back. But with how weak Europe is, I'd have to assume that China will just jam Europe AR7, mm -hmm. yeah, or, or they might even just put right, one more like, in Syria too, yeah, just neutralize Canada's AR7 move. So if Europe, if Europe comes out, Canada's ahead. If South America comes out, China wins. If it's as crazy is, to see how South America evolved this entire game, like yeah. no access for the Reds, completely blue, and then here we are at the end of the game, and it's USSR controlled. 
Yeah. So I, I this is where I definitely think had they put that one extra, if they use war games and put the one so it wasn't a four off flip, they could have just kind of gone to an off war there. Maybe yeah. they win it, maybe they don't. I don't know. And so that that missile NV evil empire coup just killed them. And that Latin America deck right wow. I don't think I've ever seen South America turn basically completely from one color to the other like this. Yeah, Latin American Debt Crisis, that's a card I forget about sometimes. And it was yeah, I lost the game very... cause when I was first learning it. I forgot that card existed. Mm. It was against Ed well, Prim. when you have no three ops in your hand, you could kind of just pretend the card doesn't exist. So well, That's true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, we don't have a three off, so if we get blockaded or like... Latin America debt crisis. It is just, it just is what it is. Like, we'll just, that's life. Yeah. I mean, I guess you could have said you could protect it against it. Yeah, break of chili doesn't really do anything. I... Yeah. No. I think you just need to get presence and then move on from the region. Yeah, I mean, there's not much you can do there. No. Yeah. Taiwan's still a victory point, too. Well, I think you're using China card this turn no matter what, so... Really? Yeah, maybe. How do you it? Well, it... Liber, I feel you're not giving up liberation, mm -mm. and South Africa's halfway to. Eh. eh, I don't know. South Africa, if you play AR six, it's not a big deal because China probably has another plan for AR seven. Not gonna take the time to fill up South Africa, probably. Yeah, that's true. So now they're thinking about the value of getting a five or six. Yeah. Need mill well, ops. It's really anyway. only six that matters. But yeah, they need mill ops, so this was lost when turn eight AR eight was skipped instead of playing China. Yeah. I mean, if you look back at it, that was definitely a turning point. Yeah, because they would have grabbed what Venezuela out of that and something else. Yeah. So then suddenly you're you're you'd keep holding Argentina because they probably would have cooed Venezuela to reset up the real lines on Brazil. So suddenly you're looking way better. Yeah, you would have to play two Venezuela, one Pakistan. And then one somewhere else. I mean, turn nine, you didn't end up using China on turn nine, though. So. Yeah, and I feel like South African could have been played. Like, yeah, so like, Kat, like Matthew, Canada was still able to get through turn nine without playing China. So granted, had they used China to jam you guys, that would have definitely been a problem. But And there's the risk of Pakistan. But I, I mean, I don't know. It, everything in hindsight, right? One less draw. Yeah, that's true. You might have not even try. Well, maybe you don't draw Evil Empire there. And you would have yeah, only had things to give them. <laughs> yeah, it is funny. That was the last card drawn.
Missile big, missile suddenly picks up a red two. Doesn't matter as much. No, it, it's very easy to like actually drive on this though, right? Like, oh yeah, we now that we know what happened, obviously that was a turning point. Um, what are they doing here with the ops two in Saudi and two where else? South, South Africa. Africa. Just risking it. It, it looks like they're kind of either saying, "Do we coup now, or do we just get presence?" So it looks like it's between coup, presence, who are place ops. Yeah. I mean, you have to coup no matter what. Yeah, maybe just coup Cameroon here. I mean, you could get a, a real line if they fail the coup. Yeah, I mean, I, why not just go for the coup? If you could set up a few Hail Mary... Well, I guess there's not really any Hail Mary real lines on the board, but... Yeah, not really. Everything's <laughs> just, like, so crowded red. Like Africa and South America, you're not doing anything with hero real lines. No. But from a minus three perspective. <laughs> yeah. I feel like you just coup here. Yeah, just get it out of the way. You, you have to do it eventually. Mm. Yeah. What's up, Patrick? <laughs> you should know how minus realignment works. There was what the game where Canada, I think they got minus, they had just spread with red influence with D stall or something, and they got realigned, I think. With four, they got knocked out of every single spot on the minus one real lines. Oh, oh my goodness. Shit. have bad experience with the real lines too. Team Nevada with their hero real line of Cuba at minus two. Oh, I remember that. That was... <laughs> oh, yeah, the Cali-New Jersey game. Oh, it wasn't Team Canada, it was Cali. It was our Cali-New Jersey game where that happened. It was just like... We got realigned at minus one nonstop. There have been some wild uh, team games, that's for sure. I think you coup here because if they have the scoring, it doesn't matter in the end, right? So yeah, just the game's over if they have the scoring. Mm -hmm. So just it's down to seven minutes now on a timer too. Yeah. Granted, it's turn ten and you've only got like four plays left, but we're just coup so you like get that dealt with yeah and then you leave yourself with options oh and they did have south oh uh, well uh, i think that was game anyway that. no matter what they did yeah, if they would have that taken us two matter. vp anyway it was just over oh man yeah that south america just to see the it change. GG. Meanwhile, Team China has like two, three DEFCON cards in their hand. <laughs> <laughs> Granted, we already seen Cal tear down this wall and I think Grain sells after the shuffle. You no, know, that was... Uh... Or wait. Well, maybe that was after the reshuffle. Yeah. Pretty standard break there of Europe. I mean... You just, you don't have anything really to do with your AR-7. No, but, I, I mean, this is kind of what slowly probably struggle I'm noticing becomes more and more. The luck factor, sure, the power cards, the rolls, but the scoring card timing is so underappreciated, right? Yeah. Like, tell me they have Europe also. Are they dumping your... <laughs> Uh, oh come on <laughs> <laughs> oh man just 
dig that knife in a little deeper. Yeah, so if they would have held terrorism till turn 10, what if they hit South America, then they can't dump or they give up an extra action round? Yeah. Just like small so, nuanced things like that can just change the game. Yeah, so they lost by the VP. Who even yep. wins on a tie for the finals? Had South America not come out for yeah. Nations Cup, I think it's is it. I I can't remember what they decided. I thought they decided on play deck though for team games. Group stages, it was an actual tie, and then past group stage elimination, I think was play deck. That yeah, would have been I USA. Mean, that would make sense. It's sometimes it's hard to get the teams together. Oh yeah, we games. definitely saw that. Yeah. Especially with like the time zones, that's that's not easy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was a good game, though. Right, I mean, well, back and forth. Team Canada pulls out second place overall. Still well done, and China is the victors. Well done, China on that one. I have to say. Yeah, yeah, they made some great plays, but I mean, Canada to come back the way they did, like it looked like it was dead in the mid war for a while. Yeah, it looked like it was almost going to be a steamroll, then it evened out, and then it looked at one point that it was for sure favoring USA. And then tilted and then back the other way. Just... South yeah, America that, that was just a whole... Nine, turn nine was brutal. Yeah. But that's how it is, right? Like, one bad turn where you're just kind of mitigating problems, and... Other, yeah. other guys advancing so two really bad hands oh, I hope everyone enjoyed that yep well um, thanks again Max for coming on Derek as well appreciate it um, glad to host these team games love seeing more of those so Nations Cup is now concluded US Cup is still ongoing scheduling the last couple of rounds I think uh, and then that will wrap up. Uh, ITSL season is ongoing still. Season 11. And OTSL is in playoffs as well. Some surprises there. That's for sure. Hopefully we can talk about that uh, in a little bit. Um, moving on to round two now. And some have already qualified for round three. Um, anything to this? <laughs> yeah, that was, that was a big win there. Um, anything before you guys head out, Max or Derek? Oh, that's it. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Thanks for hosting, Craig. Always appreciate yeah, no it. Yeah, it's always great to see these games. All right, and um, I think I'm going to stream some TS, actually, some practice games after this. Can take a short break and then see what happens. Continue our climb up to 1900, hopefully. Um, thanks for everybody for tuning in for this team game. No, appreciate the follows and subs. Uh, Mad Spartacus, or not Spartacus, Spartus. <laughs> I believe that's Tazos. Thank you for the sub, appreciate it. And M Dash for the follow. And I'll be right back.